Rose White Hutchinson attended Boardman and Willow Hill Elementary Schools and graduated from Traverse City Central High School in 1961. A self-described organizer in high school, Rosie was a four-year member of Pep Club, skied on the downhill ski team, wrote a column for the black and gold student newspaper titled, Rosie Writes It Down, was a member of 4-H, and served as a candy striper at what is now Munson Medical Center. After high school, Rosie attended Northwestern Michigan College while working at the Traverse City State Bank. In 1964, during the Vietnam conflict, she enlisted in the U.S. Air Force, becoming one of only 3,000 women in the Air Force at that time. She would go on to serve 27 years in the service, earning a degree from the College of the Armed Forces and ultimately achieving the rank of Chief Master Sergeant, one of only 12 women with that rank in the country. Rosie worked at the Pentagon for five Secretaries of the Air Force over a span of 11 years, and in 1976, she became the first female steward to ever serve the President and fly aboard Air Force One. Chief Rose would log over 6,000 flight hours flying with Presidents Ford, Carter, Reagan, and George H.W. Bush, as well as other top government officials to all parts of the world. Rosie also flew the Olympic torch from Athens, Greece to the U.S. She flew the American hockey and skating teams home from the Olympic Games and she flew in support of American hostages in Iran, once carrying money to arrange their return. In recognition of her service, Chief Rose received two Outstanding Unit Awards, two Armed Forces Expeditionary Medals, one Southeast Asia Medal, and five Meritorious Service Awards, as well as other honors. Returning to Traverse City in 1991 to care for her mother, Rosie became extremely active volunteering in the community. She has helped the American Red Cross, Munson Medical Center, the National Cherry Festival, Child and Family Services, and the Women's Resource Center, to name a few of her charities. She was also instrumental in initiating the project to preserve Building 50 at the Old State Hospital, what is now known as the Village at Grand Traverse Commons. She also participated in the effort to build the new marina at Clinch Park. She continues to volunteer with the Red Cross, the Film Festival and the State Theater, Munson Hospice House, and the VA Medical Clinic. She also found time to chair her high school class's 50th reunion in 2011. Rosie remains actively involved with her extended family, assisting in school classrooms, and even selling candy bars to help a great nephew raise money for his classroom. We are proud to recognize Rose White Hutchinson for her adventure-filled life and her trailblazing spirit, her outstanding service to our nation as a member of the U.S. Air Force, and for her continuing love for and service to her hometown of Traverse City. The message for today's um, students who are successful in life is uh, the Air Force motto is um, anything, you know, the sky's the limit. And you can do anything that you want to do. You just um, have to have to feel it. Um, I know that money's an issue all the time. Of course, the way college uh, expenses are and how expensive um, just a, a hamburger might be. It's You have to, of course, have a job now to supplement your income because I, some people are lucky and their parents can do it. But I know that mine couldn't. But I think that um, anything that you want to do, and if college isn't for you, then do what I did and join the military. And I got a, uh, you can get a four-year degree there. I only got a two-year associate's degree. But I don't know, school and myself didn't always mix. I was too busy and, and flying around the world. And I got enough education in my 6,000 flying hours and my million miles, a uh, million flying hours in the sky. So I think that the kids of today, are so much um, better off in one sense and yet they're not you know it's kind of a trade-off of I was able to do this because of of that but they will be able to do this where I couldn't have accomplished that but I think as a, a what they call me a pioneer women and sometimes I feel it but a pioneer of women in the Air Force because when I joined there was only uh, 3,000 uh, women and that was officers too so and that was in 1964 and today there's you know well over 13% uh, of the force, the Air Force, is um, female. So 
we've come a long way, baby, and, uh, and I wish the best for all the students. And I know that you'd be a success, but f especially for the female students, I hope that you won't forget about the military because it's, it's really a lot of fun out there, and the odds are pretty good that you're going to find a guy. <laughs>